You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by PaperWarplanes.com for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out something pretty cool today. It is a Huntley's Paper Warplane. These are replicas of vintage aircraft. We have a Corsair and a Newport 17. And I have to say thanks to Paper Warplanes and Huntley's for sending these to me to check out. They actually asked me if I would check them out on video and I said, you know what, I like paper airplanes. I like military planes, so I'm gonna do that. So I picked this one out to actually build and they sent this one just so we could also check it out on video. So I'm gonna build this one. Now this is gonna be probably a multiple part video because it's gonna take some time for me to actually do it. So video one will be the introduction and I'll get started. Let's see here, it says included in this package are the construction sheets and precisely written assembly instructions that guide you through the process of cutting out and building a bit of aviation history. By following these instructions, model builders 12 years of age and over with dexterity and patience will learn how this master paper airplane designer builds these magnificent models. Let me turn them over. Now I remember this plane from a show called Ba Ba Black Sheep. That's why I was definitely into that particular model. Then here's all the other ones. I don't know if it's all, there might be more. I know that there's probably more. There's gotta be more, I don't know. Check out the website if you want to do that, paperwarplanes.com. And then here's about Huntley, so I won't read this whole thing, but I'll hold it here. The fruits of 92-year-old Huntley Briggs' life, long passion for crafting exquisitely detailed replica paper warplanes of a bygone era are now finally available for the world to enjoy. I mean, they actually look amazing. So that read the rest of that. I won't read it all for you now. I want to get this one out of the package. So I will show you, so you can kind of see. Now you're gonna need some glue and some other supplies and they tell you what you're gonna need. You definitely need an X-Acto knife. You need something to cut on because I will show you what we're looking at here. It's all encased in this little section of paper. So this is what you're cutting out. And here's the recommended tool. So I gotta get all that set. Here are a few tricks I use to cut, fold, and assemble my paper warplanes. Be sure to observe all necessary steps outlined in specific instructions for each airplane model. If you choose to fly your model, follow the diagrams below for proper necessary balance. So it looks like you can fly them. And I will need some balsa wood, which I have to get. I don't have any of that. Folded cockpit and assembly. And then the tools, materials, rubber cement, buttons straw, broom straws, all these things. And then here's, uh, let me see, page one and two, fuselage center, cowling and cockpit assembly. So I think it's just a little bit more information on it. And then let's see. Okay, so here's where it officially, well, it starts here, but these are just little schematics, it looks like. This is all the stuff you're gonna need and have to cut out. And then, wow, it looks pretty intense. So that's the instructions, and then these are the sheets you're actually cutting from. So let's take a closer look here. Whew. Let's see, leave little tabs attached until final trimming around wheels, so those stay connected, so little things need to be cut out. Probably dotted lines here, cut. There's a cut line in red. It looks pretty intense. Fold line here, it says full top of model horizontal stabilizers, okay. After top and bottom horns are folded and cemented together with a slight 1 16th inch gap. So it looks like it's going to be pretty precise. So, here we go. We are on an adventure. Don't know how many videos it's going to take. I might not show the entire process, but I at least want to show some cutting, gluing, and making this plane. So when I come back, what I think I will do is I will just at least check out step one. Get a few supplies, see if I have everything I need, and then I will officially get started on this paper airplane kit. All right, so here we go. Now that the plastic is off, I thought maybe it'd be easier to see that. I'm guessing it's easier to read now. And then here's the cool planes. And that's really it. So you basically have the front and the back on that. All right, so what have I determined? Well, steps one and two, okay, these are miniature versions of the page. So this is this, and if you flip it over, this is this. So that matches that, and that matches that. Same for steps three and four. So this matches this corner, and you flip it over, and this matches this corner. Now this particular sheet, 
step one and two. It doesn't tell you to cut here, but I'm guessing you're going to have to. I'm reading the instructions. All right, here we go. Oh, and by the way, here is all the different little tips of information. So there's a lot here. I would say this is somewhat advanced of a project, something I would never have never tried. So this will be my first time. So cut and fold. Be sure to observe all the necessary steps. Yes, hopefully that's it. And then all the tools, which I have most of. But step one now, now you follow the steps going down here. Score vertical center fold line XX and make a test fold. Well, here's the score. It doesn't tell you to cut. Because if I fold this, it's going to fold into that, which I don't want. So I'm just going to assume he's leaving out some of the steps. So here we go. So if I cut this across, then they will not fold into each other. I know it's scary, right? Starting a new project. And then it says scoring. So what does he say for scoring? He says use a ballpoint pen that's used up. And you're supposed to take your score. So I just took this little, I don't know, strange looking fork, but it's got like a tip on it, like a ballpoint pen. And then he wants you to score vertical line XX and make a test fold. So this line X and the other X was there, I believe on uh, this side, X, X, see that? So you score it to kind of make a line. Let's see how that works here. And I'm using a cutting board that is pretty much seen better days. So I'm running it just along here. Now I would probably take a metal ruler when I fold. I've done some paper projects before, so this is not my first one. Now let's see. Yes, it makes like a little divot. Really hard to see and then fold. I guess that just gives it a nice spot to make that fold. There we go. So if this video takes a while, I don't know how long this video is actually going to take. Okay. Now it says score all the dotted and dashed lines. So there's one going wrong here. Actually, I'm a little scared. I don't know why. It doesn't say to cut this out yet, so that's that's intriguing to me. It doesn't say to cut any of this out before you start. So I'm just gonna score the lines. I'm I'm assuming you're gonna have I'm gonna have to cut this out. That actually goes in a little. And then I think I've hit all the dotted dotted lines. Because that's gonna fold over that. And let's see, score all of all other dotted and dashed fold lines. I think I've done all those dotted and dashed. Alright. There might be more. Ned says, precisely cut around all contiguous adjoining parts and test fold rudder and engine cuff. Oh, that's step six. Step four is cut off pattern for making a wing stiffener. Oh, that's here. Oh yeah, so maybe I do need to cut all this out. So I'm going to do this. I'll come back. I'm going to do some of it on camera, some of it off camera, just so I can practice first, and then I'll come back and show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I am taking this little guide here and then I'm making these cuts basically you see uh, from here to here I'm gonna go around and cut this whole thing out I can go past it it's not the end of the world and having the little metal ruler helps me I'm not gonna use scissors to cut this because there's just too many precise cuts for scissors Okay, so I'm just going to keep going around. I will come back after I get more of this cut. No rush. I could freehand some of these cuts too if they're on little turns, just like this. Holding and being careful. Okay, I'll come back when I get a little further along. And I will keep checking in.
All right, I am back, moving right along. I have this all cut out. Did some cleanup around some of the corners and edges where there was a little bit of white. So this fold line, now I'm thinking after looking at this more that there's more fold lines that should be scored like along here. So you can kind of picture now what's going on here and then it's hard to tell exactly where all the fold lines are. There was one going across here. Okay, there's a little line here, so I don't know necessarily exactly where all the folds are. It's a little confusing to me, but I'm assuming these glass panels are going to fold over and make the cockpit area. Okay, and then other than that, I don't see any other little fold lines. There are little lines here. Okay, now I see some really light ones here. Okay, so I'll need to, you know, investigate this a little bit more. It's not something I'm too familiar with. And the instructions, probably, they seem like they presume you have some experience in some way because they don't give you every little tidbit, but I could see. All right. So then it says, cut off pattern for making a wing stiffener. So this is the wing stiffener. Let's see, nothing on the other side. Okay, optional cockpit. So it looks like the cockpit goes into the stiffener. So if I want the cockpit, then I would need to cut that out first because it overlaps. So let's just cut that out anyway. I'm gonna have to, just in case I want it later, I don't wanna have, ruin it now. So actually this will probably be another free hand, so since it's all curved. Okay. okay we can get rid of this, can't we? Nothing on that side. I don't know, it looks like I'm gonna poke myself, but I'm not gonna poke myself. side. See how that went into this now? I guess it can't be avoided if you're gonna use it. You always think someone's gonna cut themselves when you see them do this. I watch I've watched videos where people are cutting like this and you think, oh no, don't cut yourself. But you know, you're not putting a lot of pressure like if you're cutting something really heavy duty, so it doesn't take a lot of force. So you're less likely to cut your fingertip off, which would be really sick on video. Okay. Now that, to me, is a score line. So what I did on some of these, oop, missed a cut. As I came back and I took scissors now, I'll show you. And if something really was troubling me, I did like, see that little tip there? I just cleaned it up around the whole first part. Even here it's off the line just a little. There, so I'm trying to be as precise as possible. Alright, so there's nothing on this except instructions, which I cannot read anymore. Okay, let's see. Oh, this long tab folds over. Let's see. To help close up top of rear deck of outer fuselage, this long tab folds over and cements onto the left hand side of outer fuselage. 
Ah, so there is a score line there. So this would fold over to tab over to this. Okay. So, all right. So I'm going to take a little break here, read over, check out a few more things, come back, and we will continue on. Okay, so there is a delete section in here. So this all needs to come out because it fits in somehow to the rest of the model. Now looking at this helped a lot. So this showed me that this needed to be folded back so you can see the engine here. And this is going to fold over. And this little tab is going to glue into this section here. So this is how we're going to start shaping the model. Okay, and then as I work my way down, I'll be gluing certain sections together. So there is a cut here too that I'm supposed to make. It says, uh, what does it say there? Oh, it says right here, now that I've cut it out of the instructions, it says, cut slit to receive tip of soda straw. So I'll need a straw. So let me cut that. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit open there so that's why it's one of these kind of projects it takes me I'm gonna have to really think about it and look you know maybe the instructions it maybe it's all there I'm just not seeing it so I have to kind of study it a little bit it's not something I've ever done before okay that's done and then let's get rid of this section it says delete I'm gonna do what it says there must be a reason and we will find out why. I do like that sign sound of the cutting on the wood. This one is on a slight angle this way now. Okay, and I'll freehand this. All right, and I'm sorry I keep stopping. It's just I need to keep looking. Okay, now it looks like we're getting there because this is going to fold over that. This will fold over to form this wing, probably. All right, I will come back again. We are getting closer, and I think I do need to cut out more parts, so I will be back. Okay, so here we are. I am now uh, realizing I needed the straw to be glued in here. So it did say... Uh, step four, cut off pattern for making a wing stiffener, did that, and set aside. Return to page one and cut off upper portion, which I did earlier, it's just to separate them. Okay, so that's up there. And it says on page two. Okay, so this is actually page two now that it's folded over. That's why they include the backup instructions here, so you can use them. It says cut and form the straw. So I noticed that the straw had a pointy tip, so I was going to take the straw cut it this way. I started to once I noticed it and then just cut a little bit off of this end so that when I fold this in I get a nice pointy tip and then I'm going to tape this over Okay, it kind of looks like what it shows. This goes into here, and then I'll check the length. And this is some kind of support. There we go. That says glue that down. Now I've never used this glue, so I think after this there isn't much more I can do. So this will be a good stopping point because the next step requires balsa wood pieces and stuff that I've never done before. Okay, so this has the built-in brush. Now I bought this pack to see that maybe there was a smaller one. There is not. They're all the same size. So let's just see. I've never used, I haven't used rubber. Well, I've used it, but not in a very long time. Rubber cement. Let's see. Let's get most of that off and then glue this in. I don't know how long it takes to set. So 
So after this, I will take a break. There, I will hold that for a little bit. Oop, it came out of the little end. There we go. That's where I wanted it. Okay, that looks like that is my support. Let's see, let's read it while we're here. Excellent for mounting photos, cut and paste jobs, for strong bond, precautions, first aid. Uh, it probably says in there somewhere how long it takes to dry. But I will find out. And I am, uh, maybe I'll come back after this dries, wrap this video up, show you where I'm at, show you what I need to do. And then we will go from there. So I will be back. Let me let this sit a little bit longer. All right. So it is dried. I let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Did some other things. And it's kind of neat. Looks like that's a little exhaust out the backside, isn't it? So I figured I would glue a little bit more. I thought I was going to finish, but why not glue this section together? Because the next steps require balsa wood, which I don't have. So let me glue what they say. I decided to change my brush also. Now this glues onto this. Okay, and then this will fold over to this. So this tab folds over, so let me get glue on this tab. And those are the only two things I can see that fold over. Okay, and then everything else I think will happen later. So let's get this lined up. Let me put a little more on this. Try to get the whole outside edge and everything a little bit better. Okay, there we go. There's that. And then this folds over this. There, and with that straw in there, it kind of does feel like it's starting to take some shape. So I'm going to hold this here. I'm going to wrap this up. Maybe get a couple little clips to hold these down. And then we will, uh, well, then I'll just wrap it up. Say thanks for watching. This is video one of this project. I need to get some balsa wood. So let me do that. I'll go over this all one more time, make sure it's all right. And when I come back next, I don't know, it could be, I don't know exactly how fast this video is going to go, but we'll see. So I'll see you in the next one. If you want to see more cool stuff, look in that description. Or as always, you can just search Lucky Penny Shop. Here, let's see if I can just set that there so you kind of get an idea where it's going. Ooh, before I forget and before I let you go, sorry I ended the video there. This tab needs to be glued in as well. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm going to take these and use these to hold them on. But I'm going to wait till I have this last tab in. They're like little clamps. So line that up right there. There, that's a better representation of what we have now. I get this in here to hold this tight. Okay. And then this will hold this. The other one seems to be holding pretty good. And I'll just let this set. So this will dry till the next time. And sorry for that little update there, but I did want to finish that little piece. I'll be back next time. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, Pick it up! Thanks for watching!